what, what Pop would do, he would make you play yourself off the team. And he gonna mm -hmm. put you in every situation. So I, went, I ended up winning the championship the first time, right? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to get my big contract then, Pac, but they, he didn't want to pay no real one. He wanted to pay Ginobili and Tony Parker. The European guys, he had a certain look for the team. I wasn't in that look, but I was a big reason why we won. He knew that. So they want to offer me three years, 10 million. Out of here. I ain't taking that one. You finna get Ginobili 70, 80. I'm not taking that. So I bounced, but when I come back, he's still on that same shit. I'm, I'm finna sum the story up. So when I get back the second time, he's still trying to play little mind games with people, and I see that, so I ain't really going for it. Uh, we make it to the Western Conference Finals. I ball out. The next year he come back, he's not playing me at all. Playoffs getting ready to come around. One thing about it, if you cut a, a, a guy at a certain time at the end of the season, he can't go play for another team. Right. So this is what Pop did. So I had a great practice. I wasn't playing as much in the game, so I used practice as my games. And I talked, and I was busting their ass, completely busting their ass. Tim Duncan loved it. He loved every bit of it because that's the type of players he wanted on his team. So coming out of practice, I had a great practice. I'm thinking he's going to play me in the next couple of games because the playoffs are going to start. He, tell, uh, he sends somebody to come get me out the, out the, way, out the um, locker room and says, Coach, I want to talk to you. I go in the practice room. He sit me down and show me the, my three worst possessions of the whole season. Not the million good plays I had, but three bad plays that he had to go through tape to find, right? And he showed me those three possessions. He was like, I want you, I'm going to bring the team in. I want you to admit that Danny Green and Ginobili are better than you wow. because I'm going to play them in the playoffs. What? Like verbally wants you to admit Verbally. It. Wow. This is one of the smartest coaches I've ever played with. Before he even asked me that question, Pat, you know he know how I'm going to respond. Hell no. no uh, that, flip, that's my reason to get you out of here, this, I would have flipped the table. Man. But, let me, but let me tell you how you know, B. B, yeah, this, that, how, that this how you know. Right there. This is how you know he, he, he knew that. So as we having a conversation, Tracy McGrady's landing in San Antonio. <laughs> so he know, he know I'm going to go off. Man, get the f*** out of here. He ain't better than me. He ain't better than me. Oh y'all, let me get my bread, and I walk out. But he knew that was, he knew that's how I was gonna respond. Yeah. And they had Trace McGrady coming in, so he was he was he was gonna do it regardless. Even if I would have said, you know what, Pop, I can, I'm gonna do better. Even if I would have said that, I was still getting cut.